So we're continuing our uh, lesson six now on the uh, building this demo uh, mobile application and we're showing how we can add a keyword search feature uh, to the UX component. So we're choosing the get primary key values for records in a query action and then let's click OK and that'll bring up the builder for us. So um, this is where you specify how the table will be queried and we want to do a keyword search so we'll go here and choose the keyword option then we need to specify which control on the UX component the user will be typing the search value into so we'll go to the drop down here and select the search control and then finally we need to specify which columns in the customer table will be searched uh, for matching records so you can see here we've got the keyword search fields property selected and now let's go ahead here and click on the uh, smart field and the fields that we'd like to uh, search in are customer ID so check the customer ID field the company name field the uh, contact name field the contact title field the address field the city field and say the country field. Now you can choose as many fields as you want obviously um, it wouldn't make any sense to choose say a binary field which contains an image but remember that the more fields that you select the slower the search um, will be so you want to um, pick a reasonable number of fields. Um, so now let's go ahead now and click the OK button then go ahead now and click OK hit the save button to close down the builder and now let's go to working preview and uh, test out our uh, search so go to working preview now and now in the search box now let's just type in some search value so let's go here and type in London and then click the uh, search button and we can see now that the query has been performed and we're now looking at all of the records for our customers in London now in order to clear the search we need to um, r delete the value over there and then click the uh, search button again to perform a search with no values so obviously what we'd like to do is make the search button do what we just did there in other words when we click the search button what we'd like to have happen is we'd like whatever value is currently in this control to be cleared out and then we'd like to uh, re-execute the search with uh, with no value but it would also be nice to put um, a label on the UX component showing us how many records are in the um, in the query after the search has been performed so let's go back now to design mode and add that additional functionality so first let's add in the label that shows us how many records are currently in the search so we'll go back to design mode and then let's uh, just click on the uh, button clear search uh, control because we'd like to add the label underneath this uh, control and above the list so Alpha Anywhere comes with a built-in control that shows you the number of records in a list so in the uh, toolbox on the left hand side go to the defined control section and open up that section by uh, clicking on the button and then if you scroll down in this list you'll see that there's a built-in uh, predefined control called list record count so let's click on the list record count um, item there and you'll see a dialog open up asking you for the ID of the list control that you'd like to display the count for now the reason that this uh, dialog pops up here is that this UX component could have many different list controls on it so we need to know which particular list control we're talking about so we're going to go here since this there is only one list control right now we'll go ahead there and uh, select that click OK and now when we go over to working preview we can see that there are currently 91 records being shown but if we go there and type in say London into the search field and then click the uh, search box we can see that there are now only six records in our search so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video